Oh, cool, an Ender Pearl. Check it out. Oh, this isn't where I expected. What is that? I'm just kidding. And do you take what? Wait, wait. Oh, uh, my bad. No, no, definitely not. No. Man, this thing's broken. I'm out of here. Today I'm going to show you how to make a working Ender Pearl in Rec Room. A few years ago, I made a CV1 version of this, so today we're updating it to CV2. So the main way we're going to do this is with a frisbee, the invisible floor thing that all Rec Room rooms come with, and a set position chip. Essentially, we are going to measure how high off the floor the frisbee is, and once it hits a certain height, we want to set the position of the player that last held it to the current position of the frisbee. We're also going to have to add in circuits that restrict when the teleporting and when the measuring is happening. You'll see what I mean when we get into the circuits. And of course, if you don't want to do the circuits and you just want the Ender Pearl as an invention, I've got it here for you. Just look up RCL Ender Pearl CV2 in the invention store. Like and subscribe or bees will attack Steve. So as I said earlier, we're gonna start by getting the height of the Frisbee. We're gonna get a rec room object, get first with tag. We're gonna use a get position and a vector split. If you have trouble finding the Frisbee, it's because it's not called a Frisbee, it's called disc apparently. Now Frisbees already have the word disc as a tag on them. So we are going to add disc as the tag for the rec room object get first with tag. For our Ender Pearl, we really only care about how high off the ground the Frisbee is, which is only going to be the Y coordinate over here. So don't worry about the X or the Z. But then when I pick it up, you'll see it'll move 6.2 to it'll move with however high I put it. But when I let this go, it goes to almost zero, very close to zero. And we're gonna use that for this next part. So now we need our circuits to constantly measure the height of the Frisbee, which means an event receiver configured to 30 Hertz. So if that Frisbee height, which remember is that Y coordinate, is less than some number, then we want it to set the position of the person who last equipped it. So now that we have all the chips we need, I'm gonna leave this 30 Hertz receiver detached, but you'll, you'll see why in a minute. If the Y coordinate is less than some number, we're gonna set that to 0.5 because that's what worked in testing. It may be different on your room depending on where your floor is. Then we hook the resulting bool variable up here. So if it is less than whatever number you put here, then set the position of the player who last held it. So that's gonna be the target. And then the position we want is the current position of the Frisbee, which is, which is over here. We also have to define the object that we want the last player of, which is the Frisbee. So this over here. If I hook up the 30 Hertz receiver right now, because we don't have any of the checks in place, you'll see what happens. I don't know if you can see how jittery it is but if i pick this up it's fine i can move around i can do whatever i want but when i throw it it'll teleport me but i can't move because it's constantly setting my position to the position of this so essentially we have to tell the circuits hey don't use this if to check the height until after the frisbee has been picked up and thrown and we're going to do that with a bool variable and i'm going to rename this bool variable to height measure on and off. Then we're gonna get another if chip, and then we're gonna take our new bool variable and hook it up to our new if chip, hook up our 30 Hertz receiver to the input, and then the then to the first if chip. So now, only when that bool is true, will it actually go off and try to measure the height of the frisbee now we need to determine when this bool variable is going to be true and when it's going to be false we definitely want it to be false after somebody's been teleported we don't want them to continue teleporting so let's clone this and bring it over here make sure that this bool is false and then hook this up so when do we want the bull to be true? We want the bull to be true after somebody picks it up and they've thrown it. So what I'm gonna do is get another if chip and put it in between the 30 Hertz receiver and the second if chip. Then I'm gonna use this currently equipped bull on the rec room object last equipping player. Then instead of hooking the 
second if up to the then we're actually going to hook it to the else and for the then we're going to hook up another copy of the height measure bool and set it to true all right so i'm going to run through this and explain how it works so 30 hertz receiver is always checking to see is it equipped if it is equipped this will be true which will then set the height measure to true then once they let go of the frisbee this bull becomes false which then means it's going to run down like it is now and this is checking hey is the height measuring on or off if it's on then it's going to move to this if which is going to check the height and then once the height reaches whatever height that you've set it to then it'll set the position and it will turn the height measuring to off which will then bring it back to just checking hey is it equipped or not all right so right now it's running on everybody's system all at once we're going to do a little networking i didn't know the best way to do it so we're just going to add in two if local player is room authority chips right after the then and the else of the first if chip now for some added flair let's just add in a little interpol skip Now, if you just want to see the circuit so you can get more of an idea of what's going on, I'll leave a copy of them in my clubhouse room. It's called use code RC01. Use my code, by the way, support me here in Rec Room. It really helps out. This week's episode of After Connections, I'll be trying to remember how to make an Ender Pearl in Minecraft. It's been a long time. <laughs> Hopefully this video helped you, and I'll see you next time. RCL man out.